You were sent by the Father to gather together those who are scattered. You came among us doing good and bringing healing, announcing the word of salvation and giving the bread which lasts forever. Be our companion on life's pilgrim way. Thank you all for attending today here in the RDS in Dublin as we formally launch the 50th International Eucharistic Congress, which will take place in Ireland next year. Most of the week-long celebration will be based on this historic campus. In fact, Father Kevin Dorn and his planning team have relocated here already. And I, along with Archbishop Martin, Father Dorn and other Irish pilgrims who were attending the Congress in Canada at the time, felt honoured, excited and humbled that the Holy Father had chosen our country to host the next International Eucharistic Congress in 2012. The purpose of every Eucharistic Congress is to deepen our understanding of and devotion to the Holy Eucharist, which is central to our faith. That devotion holds a special place in the affection of Irish Catholics. The Eucharist is the source and summit of the life of every follower of Jesus. And the hosting of the Congress in Ireland serves not just our local church, but it will be an international event. The celebration will attract thousands of pilgrims. It will enable Catholics at home and abroad to meet and participate in daily masses, discuss issues of faith, take part in worships, witness reflections, and take part in adoration of the Eucharist. It is our hope that the 2012 Congress will assist, play a part in renewal in the Catholic Church in Ireland by reflecting on the centrality of the Eucharist at the heart of our increasingly diverse community and give renewed impulse, impetus to the living of our faith. Today then is about putting the International Eucharistic Congress in Ireland on the map. I especially wish to acknowledge the valuable involvement of the media in this task. And please, I ask you to continue to take an interest in this important Catholic Church in Isidaf. And finally, I ask that the faithful pray to the Spirit to lead us all to a greater appreciation of the presence of Jesus in our midst for love of us in the gift of the Eucharist. Thank you. The Eucharistic Congress is one of the normal instruments that we find right across the Church as part of renewal programmes. The Eucharist is central to the Christian life. The Eucharist is the real presence in history of the self-giving love of Jesus Christ. And it's that self-giving love of Jesus Christ, even unto death, that is the source of the life of the Church, the source of the new life brought by Christ with his death and resurrection and the sending of the Spirit. The Church is a community of prayer, inspired by the Word of God and by the Eucharist. And the Church is a communion, which then generates a special form of fellowship and sharing which is shaped by the Eucharist. The 50th International Eucharistic Congress is not a societal event, it's an ecclesial event and will be celebrated in faith. The hope of the Eucharistic Congress is that through prayer, the renewal in prayer and its liturgical life, these are the two characteristics of the Eucharistic Congress, the Church will be purified, cleansed and renewed so that its true mission in the world will be more evident. Thank you. I'd like to introduce our Congress hymn.
preparations for the Eucharistic Congress, we've been asking people to think of the Congress as a journey rather than just an event. And as uh, the Cardinal mentioned, we're still talking to people who have very fond memories of the Congress in 1932. And that's where the symbolism of the Eucharistic Congress bell comes in. The Dominican Sisters in Port Stewart in County Antrim uh, had this bell, which was a call to prayer on a daily basis of a religious community. And they have kindly lent us this bell, which was also used for the launching of the millennium, the jubilee year in Glendalock in 2000. It is challenging, as Cardinal Brady mentioned, to host an International Eucharistic Congress, just as it is indeed to host any of the large international events that will take place in Ireland in 2012. Many people from around the world are going to follow what's happening here in Ireland as part of the pastoral programme and the large event that people will follow us over the next 65 weeks, because that's all we've left, is the, is the Bell pilgrimage. The Bell is going to travel all around the country, it's going to be walked in various parishes. The Congress dates are the 10th to the 17th of June 2012. The first seven days will be here in the RDS with a series of events every day. We're using the entire campus, so there will be many, many opportunities for people to engage in lots of different ways. We'll finish on the last day, which is the 17th of June, in Crow Park for our Statio Orbis, which is an expected 80,000 people, and to join us on our pastoral journey, which has already started. Thank <laughs> you.